Yo, hello there, guys. Welcome back. We are still on that boss for first Elden Lord. <clears throat> live on Twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. Rudely interrupted by the guttural sounds of my boy Ayatollah on voice. Say hello. Hello. Uh, and we're just vibing and chilling out. Probably going to do the boss tonight. Probably. But no stress. Good vibes. Just taking it easy. Uh, let's dive in. Let's have a little warm up. First one of the day. Technically. There goes my Mimic. My boy, Mimic Chan. Good, I drank that just in time to use it up. I was hoping to get that in before round two. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's okay. That was our warm up. Was nobly fought. Evil Ryu is like Jin and Devil Jin. Yo! I remember Angel in like uh, Tekken 2 or something. No, that can't be right. It must be Tekken 3, right? Tekken 2 didn't have Devil. Didn't have Jin, did it? Tekken 2 was Kazuya. Angel is Tekken 2. Oh shit. And Tekken Tag Tournament. Mmm. Tekken Tag Tournament was a banger. Me and my mates used to play that a lot. Good old PS2. That and Final Fantasy X, I think, were the only PlayStation 2 games ever played. I'm just having a think about my options. Okay, right, I know it. Mate, I was pressing that button, that animation. It, unless you happen to just also be drinking uh, an Estus flask. <laughs> the length of that animation is noteworthy. Quick step, quick step, quick step, quick step, quick step. PS2 had the best library. Uh, yeah, the PlayStation 2 was the most, the best selling console of all time, right? I learned that in a quiz. Jin came in free. Evil Ryu is the physical manifestation of a Satsui no Hado dwelling within him. Kage is the form of Ryu himself. Oh, Kage is the form that Ryu himself takes if he ever succumbs to the Satsu no Hado. So it's like having your shadow self. And a separate incarnation of your shadow acceptance. Tem is your favourite game, still is. Do you know what I never realised? Because uh, I'm going to obviously do a Final Fantasy Marathon one day when I'm 55 years old. Um, Tekken 10, I never... 
I never heard this before, but apparently Tekken 10... T sorry, what am I saying? Apparently Final Fantasy 10 is like Final Fantasy 8, in that they lost the original source code. And the Final Fantasy 10 remaster um, lacks all of the facial animations and stuff from the original game. It's like a... It's not a remaster, it's a bad rebuild. Yeah, mate, Kid Luden, so you, what, are you still playing 8 like a loser? Mate, wake up. Tekken 10, mate. You never forget your Tekken techniques. Uh, one thing I'm actually terrified of is that there's new mechanics since I played Tekken. So I'll know the moves, but I won't know, like, whatever extra things. I've seen these with red charging stuff before, which looks dubious. Hey, when we throw in down Tekken, I've been training. I need to update that spreadsheet. I don't think I've touched it all year. I played Tekken Tag for half a year with my best friend, daily. Up to this day, we exactly now know how the other one will attack and play. Yay! <laughs> I had that dude as well. Uh, my mate was always Horang, and I was always Yoshimitsu in Tekken 3. And, like, we both no longer... But how to put it, like, if I wanted to do a move, my character did the move. I didn't need to think about the buttons. I wasn't even aware of the controller in my hands. It was pure tactical game of just like edging in, crouch, stand up, crouch, quick punch, edge in, back out, quick punch. Like, who's going to break the like process first? But Yoshimitsu was a pelter because he had, uh, as well as the sword techniques and like the sword flash stuff, he had the running moon cartwheel somersault thing. So you could clear loads of screen distance, but you could cancel it. No, you could do a follow up into the handstand double leg up thing as well so sometimes you do it and sometimes you wouldn't to keep your opponent guessing man Tekken free Tekken free you can relate yeah, yeah, yeah. no man I'm relating to you man I, I feel exactly what you're saying I feel you You can't do it when he's in slow motion, or I was still in the animation. One or the other, but I locked in. Whoa. I think I've just seen that point where I can see all of his stage one moves now. It's only taken me about four and a half hours of this one boss. So like, I don't, how to put it? I don't have that 
thing where I pay attention to the boss and learn his movesets. I just sit there, and this is not a good thing, I just sit there and passively grind the boss for hours until I subconsciously have got it. But if I just look and learn, but I'm not a looking learner. I told you, you're okay, man. You're breathing very hard into the microphone. Oh, am I? Sorry. No. It's... Yeah, no. Sorry. I got my fan on, so I think it's, like, activating. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I, I thought okay. maybe you were just, like, you know, twitching with anger or something. <laughs> Huffing and puffing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, sorry, mate. No, you're right. I just had you in my ear for a while like that. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you just said sorry. Second, they released the King reveal video today. I thought I had him one more hit ago, so I was using up all my stuff for round two. It is a touch too premi. <laughs> Almost. He flies around so unnaturally with his movements. It's really interesting. Where's Salty? Salty was in uh, yesterday, I think. What? They Their skin and veins tense before their power moves. Oh, oh mate, my. you want... They're, they're releasing all the reveal trailers for the characters one at a time, and just as, like, they're about to slam down, you can see their veins pop and their muscles tense. It's insane. They are... Like, they've always been, like, absolute powerhouses. Um, they are actually a little bit too cut for me. Does that make sense? They have no, like, I remember in like the really amazing visuals of like Tekken 4 um, and they looked so fucking powerful and awesome. But like, I've seen like, is it Law? He, he looks like he's made of a billion individual strands of muscle fiber. There's not a millimeter of fat on that man's body. Yep. <laughs> I thought it was like, <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Let's pay for. <laughs> you would have done great in a WWE. What a man! <laughs> wow. I was waiting for my girl, my character. You should be soon. Are you a Ling Shao Yu boy? I'm a lucky Chloe. Never heard of her. Uh, she's the one that's gonna kick your ass when you play with <laughs> Man, I got that flask specifically for round two again. And again, he just kind of went, ah, you're right, mate. Try. Oh, here we go. So I'm, I'm, I'm going for the wrong button. First try, absolutely right. 
Thank you very much for being here. Remembrance of the Horaloo. Ah, we got him, we got him. We were always nearly there for quite a while, on and off. Hey, Tofu. <laughs> Jesus, wow. That's the adrenaline speaking. Hey, Tofu, Naru, Nesshart, Intoxicated, Good Ludens, Crouton, Potential, Whoopee. Thank you very much for believing in me, you wonderful people. Thank you very much, Ayatollah on voice. Thank you very much, Defias. Thank you very much, Intoxicated. Let's have a little rest. Let's remember to level up. What have we got? 300,000 Schmeckles. Intelligentsia. Let's go. That's the dream, ladies and gentlemen. That's the dream. All right, now I go into the tree. <gasps> what? So, like I've been saying, other than getting stuck, beautiful, wonderful. We set fire to the tree back of the cauldron for um, Little Miss One Eye. Little Miss Depth Perception, babe. And then we release the ability for things to die again, and now the tree is burning for true. All the people have burnt to ash. We've changed the landscape. And here we go. Kind of creative. Thank you very much for the follow. Good evening. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. I sure am. I'm playing one of the best games I've ever come across in my life. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Father? Very cool way to go. Oh. Don't like. It's an 8 tenths game at best. Yo, Salty, nice to see you. We were just talking about you. Happy weekend. Thank you so much for that resub. Oh, it's an Elden Shard. This is the guy from the trailers that I was... Girl from the trailers I was talking about. Crucified on a shard? Oh, we were talking about what the actual ring was. Oh my god, is that Melania's brother? Radagon of the Golden Order. Oh my god, it's Raddy V1. He's beautiful. Good night, sweet friends. Yo. Ayatollah, help me with the lore of this character, please. That is Pasha. the father of Melania's dad. Melania of Rani, of Radic, of Radan, and but also the mother. If you noticed, it was Queen Marika you met first. And after she fell, she turned into Radagon because they are one in the same. Which one was Marika again? Queen Marika. Who is the queen of the lands between you've noticed her everywhere you know you revive somewhere you can use the stake of marika and oh, she's oh right but we've never we've right. never met her before no 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 okay yo stake of marika so, there's one he's the guy that i said um radagon is the guy i said it's the most aesthetically pleasing i love these like crumbled half hollow but he's got the elven ring symbols inside of the circle <laughs> Like, his, his power can't be stopped beyond the crumbling of his physical form. Yeah.
Ah. Oh, wow, I got really close. Fuck. He smashed it. <laughs> now we're going to be here for eight hours because I'll never get that ever again. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I'm enjoying this game again. These tiny little five minute windows of what have carried me through 185 hours of gameplay. Uh, should we go back to Melania? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm not feeling that good. Oh, can I still go back to Melania before doing this boss? Is this a Melania cutoff? Uh, this is the cutoff. Yeah. I don't care about Melania enough. Yeah, I know. God. Thank you for believing, Salty. Did you never beat Melania in the end? No, Elemental. And it's like, how to put it? It's not even like I feel like I've come up against a wall. It's literally the fact that it takes me 10 minutes of focus just to get to the second round to try to learn the moves. It's just such a long process that, like, it's reached a point where I'm less frustrated with Melania and I'm more no longer willing to spend that much of my life just getting to the point of where I get up to. It's like an accessibility issue, not a gameplay issue. It's so weird. There we go. That's what I wanted. I didn't use the thing. I didn't realise she was going to turn around for me. I might have a shard in a minute. Cheeky shard and a cup of tea. Let's actually use this now. Here we go. That, just that is the coolest fucking thing in the world. Just seeing that. This game's insane.
L. Radigan W. Player. Lose Radigan win player. King, thank you very much. I'm just like, those are wonderful words, King. Oh, that was what it was for. Yeah, those Elden Shards buff you up. They buff your business. But not yet. I'll wait till I make a cup of tea. I might uh, get another health potion in my mix-up as well, actually. In my flasks. Just tea. Yeah, tea'd be good, King. How do you like it? Zinka jumping. Yeah, for real. No matter how hard this game is, it will never be as hard as the tug of war mini game in Mario Party. That's you versus your friends. Have you seen that, Mari? So, I don't. Have you guys seen this video? It's a Mario Party. I don't know which Mario Party, but there's a mini game where you've got to like cut down a tree or something. So, like, you keep chopping, but the tree, instead of falling over, just kind of keeps falling straight down and you chop the bottom off. And some dude is like, I will show you the winning technique. And he gets the controller and he, like, he puts the controller against his nose. And, like, I, I can't remember, but he just, like, he, like, he vi vibrates his hands or something. Or the controller's touching his nose. And on screen, like, because obviously the character's like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, chug, chug, chug. And on screen, it literally just goes like like emptying a magazine or something. It's so weird. Yeah, 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 no strats. By the way, if you like, I can help you with this boss. King, thank you very much for the offer. I appreciate that. Uh, at the moment, I've been soloing the whole game. Uh, unfortunately, this is still my first playthrough. Don't tell anyone. I'm very embarrassed. Um, so I still just want to kind of like get through it. Um, but when we start new gaming and stuff like that, I'll be down for all the fun and shits. got lumberjacks in his heritage get yeah, damn right i once went to school with a, a red checkered fleece and uh my mates sung he's a lumberjack and it's okay at me all day long never wore it again i told her is this your favorite game in the world no i'd say it's second Hmm. First? Near Automata. Love that game. Can't wait to play it. Everything about it. I was pressing dive roll so hard, I knew it was going to come for me. Over here, bitch. Look at me, not him. Okay, well, look at him a bit more for me next time. This is one of those ones where I just need to go through that process of no longer trying to dump all my DPS as quickly as possible and just dump it when appropriate. Village Rhapsody, Carrots and Milfs. Wait, keep talking? It's a really bad 
port game, but it's like Stardew Valley, but you're like a uni student that's inherited some land, you go and make some carrots and <laughs> grow shit, earn money, do quests for the village, but also bang all the mills. What kind of format is it? Is it like a 2D scrolling thing? It's like a, it's exactly like Stardew Valley, so it's like a top-down, pixely retro. She knows the money. I hate that slow run. Oh man. Just you and me now, bitch. Incredible. So Radagon has a mace and is their spirit or their essence is insanely powerful beyond that of their physical form. Thanks to all of that Elden juice. So, Radigan, having been crucified upon a piece of the Elden Shard, who put him there? Jenna, I'd love a sip. Oh, Nessar, nice one. Good to know. Queen Marika put him there. Fuck. No, this is Marika. They're... Uh, how do I explain this? They're like twin gods in one body. Like identical twins, a male and a female, that share a body. So Marika did it to... So Marika cut off her nose to spite his face by crucifying herself in the form of him. I guess I have to go under her for that one. Die, 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 Hey! Oh no, round two, or? Music's still going. Yeah, round two, huh? Hey, Elia, it's all... Yeah, yeah, we're vibing through the game, man. How's your evening getting on? Thanks for that lurk, Elia. You work. Yeah, monkey, this is like... In any other game, an orchestra means it's very bad and you're in danger. In this game, it's the harp. That's when you know you're fucked. Oh my god, is that the Lance of Longinus? Oh. 
Oh, it's like the creature from the void from earlier. In the form of a... It's like an axolotl version of a dragon. And it's beautiful. This is fucking amazing. That music, what is this? Do you remember me talking about my health bar? It's like... It is. It's like an axolotl, unformed dragon. Full of really good DNA and pure Elden energy. And it was like, do you know how slugs... Don't, don't slugs have long brains? They're like ganglia. Let me go and um, switch up my flasks. So, congrats, Elden Beast. Um, yeah, quite resistant to magic. Did, did you know that earlier when you, you got me to respec into a magic build? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's right, I'm not bothered. I'm having a load of fun. Known for, for years. <laughs> it's Lapras from Pokemon, but with a sword. Mm. Is that like a boiled sweet? A Dragolotl! Isarake, get a Coke. So, tell me about this. Can you tell me lore? What am I looking at? The essence of a dream of the Elden Ring and its true form of energy from outside the cosmos? You asked. Yeah? You pretty much nailed it. Um, the Elden Beast is the true form of the Elden Ring. And it acts as a vessel for the Greater World. Which is the Greater World, isn't it? God. A vessel for the greater will. Oh. Secondary blow up. Uh, D4. D4. Dark Souls 4? Hey, wait, are you calling... Diablo. Oh, Diablo 4. 120 minute quens. Cues? Oh, is Diablo 4 online? Try salt. Hey! Do you have anything god skin? Uh, maybe I'm not sure. We could we could try some different summons. We got options. So doable, but if um might want to respec a little bit. But he's um, very hate faith damage heavy on you. So there's some spells and some certain things we can grab to increase the resistance. Could be possible. Good to know. Early access started today. Oh, don't worry, but you can talk about games all day long. Happily. So, is Diablo 1 and 2 the one that was beloved? Diablo 3 is the one that they made mobile only and all those memes happened when they got booed. And Diablo 4 is the one that everybody's been wanting? Question mark? No. 
2 is probably the fan favorite. 3 was decent. And then there was Diablo Immortals. That was the, P the mobile. Mm. Which was the BlizzCon highlight, which caused riots. I'm so pleased by that. I don't know why I'm hating on a company I've got nothing to do with, but I'm really pleased they got bad feedback during their public presentation. I never worked hard to get past that one. was staggered and then after the stagger he continued that attack pattern that was very unusual <gasps> i don't know if they've patched it out but can we try something it's funny uh yeah sure what do you want to try the second you get in the second it loads after you skip the cutscene, double dash um bloodhound to him and stand right next to him like touching his balls but do not attack him and do not move Okay, Bloodhound Step in. God, I've got Bloodhound Step! I've got Bloodhound Step! I'll try that in his giant lightning attack next time. Instantly dash to touch him and do not move. <laughs> they didn't. Oh no, they didn't. <laughs> Almost. He, 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 didn't, did. he didn't do much for a minute. Yeah, there was a bug that way around. I think it might still be there. If he did that, he would just stand there and do nothing. He would just look at you and walk. And then you people just poison missed him to shit. <laughs> that was Ooh. The cheese. Okay, let's have a let's just see if I can do it. I'll do one last of these. I haven't had a good poison misting since we did the Earth Tree night. That was a great day. <laughs> that was a twenty minute boss fight day. <laughs> Those are the good ones, man. You gotta remember them when you can get them. You're a Bloodhound main in Apex. Uh, I I quite liked Bloodhound, but I was uh, I was at Octane. The strong majority of my hours were Octane. Oh, he's got a stomp. I used to know some stompers back in the day. Just fought one. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a bit silly, sir. You can get past it. Um, I might just get a little bit tight and slashy with this guy to see if I can get away with using my summon a bit later. I'm only worried if I won't have a window to use my summon. I've got plenty of time. Plenty of time to have a little experiment. You just parry spell like a DPC character. This guy smashes me up. Um, I should have some uh, faith resistance. Do I have any faith resistance stuff in my equipment? I haven't changed my equipment in a million years. We've got green turty, uh, heirloom, uh, radigan source seal. Oh yeah, that's still good. A radigan icon. No, I kind of need all of these things. Uh, however, did I have a pro faith? A uh, boosts lightning damage negation. That's he's doing lightning damage, right? No. Oh. Holy, holy faith. Um.
Raises holy attack, but oh no. Constantly attracts aggression. Why would you? Oh, because my because my secondary could then do uh, more magic. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. I could try doing a dodge only run, whilst my backup does all the attacking. That's risky. I'm just gonna wear this just for once because I've never done that before. I'm just I'm pure curiosity. You still saw ceiling? Maybe. Aren't you? Hands up in chat if you're not saw ceiling anymore. Attraction. Great. Now my, now my. Oh, is he dead or is he over there? Seal's always worth it. I'll put the source seal back on now. Seeing as that little thing was thin and nothing. Forget about thin and nuts. That was thin and nothing at all. Anyone? Just trying my best. So let's go here and uh, get back into my kit. Yeah. Didn't like the look of it anyway. Shortens. What was? It? What did I have? Shortened spell casting time. Yeah. Anything else of interest? Boost your FP restoration. Greatly raises maximum stamina. What's stamina? Hey! More magic. Cast magic slower. Cast magic more. Eh, nah, you're right. I disagree for late game. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, who's doing Clip Studio Paint? Oh, Aliator. Yo! Yo, you've, you've finally got your sweet hands on some uh, buffed drawing software. Get on it, bro. Mmm. Thank you, Snow Rip. Oh, wow, that was a lot of clicks, Jenna. Those back pops are for you. Oh. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's now got hey doing good evening.
Oh, I was trying to shadow step past it. Oh, did you hear those cracks and pops? Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, Majoker Artist. Dodge. Do some more dodging. I'm trying to uh, quick step with my dodging. Oh, your bank did it to avoid scams. Mm. So I've heard the Clip Studio Paint 2.0 is like actual magic. It's got a camera hand shape reader. And, uh, that's about it. <laughs> Good story. But still, it looks amazing. If you had to get a flat with an Elden Ring boss, which one would you live with? Does Ronnie count? Yeah. Front. I'm mostly just having fun now, but actually worrying about the battle. Oh, is that like an evil cutting grid? The goat horse. You'd live with... Oh, you'd live with... Oh, the dog. No, that's, a, that's an ally. Question. Does this boss also have the attitude that they want to live with you? Um, Based on what that boss's personality type is... Uh, they're a housemate out of convenience. They don't have anything against you, but, you know, they're hardly your best friend. So, Are we talking in the Elden Ring universe or in our real life? It's a normal flat in London. So, if they were afflicted by something that didn't exist in this world, would they still be afflicted by it? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Why? You're, wait, you're just like, which one are you going to get an STD from? No, no. You're gonna scarlet thinking, rot your ding dong off. Thinking like Melania would be pretty chill if she didn't have rot, but also um, there's a girl that you don't know of, but the Shabriri grape girl. We could we could save her. She's cute. Oh, is that the uh, tan skin one? Uh, no. That's the felly moon. Yeah, what side of London? <laughs> That's a big difference. Uh, Camden, North London. <laughs> got, got the alternative crowds. They won't blink twice at a weird looking housemate. Yeah, it's not the worst. This neighbourhood's very accepting of Elden Lords. That's good. Oh, what'd I go? Can it be somewhere other than London? Because fuck London. No, you gotta go to London. This is a horror story. A horror story is you have to live the rest of your life in London. <laughs> Fucking fire giant. <laughs> yeah, same, same. Every morning I'd slap his balls with a ruler and let him loose. Do you know what I mean? Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him! <laughs> yeah. I think I would go with Melina. Uh, not Melania, Melina. Melina, yeah. Uh, remind me who that is, please. Who did one eyed girl? What's helped you through the game? Oh, oh, um, Flame Lady. Yeah. Got it. She's the only one that's like. I don't know, she has a lot of lore, but she's the one that's got red on, right? But she's not afflicted by anything. Like, Rani is a doll. Like, that doesn't get old. Melania is cursed. And Scarlet is great. She breeds great girls. Fucking fire. Great.
work hard to be all clingy and eat your food. Together. Are you picking Mikey? Rikard would live downstairs and all the bottom floor would be covered in goop. You'd be like, ah, oh, and you come down in the morning, you want a cup of tea and you're barefoot. And you'd step through all the red wiggling Rikard goop worms <laughs> to get to the kettle. Will you make me some tea as well? With a tea bag! Uh, where are you? you? You wouldn't even see his face. You'd see part of his body wrapped around the living room couch. You'd be like, where's your end? I'm up in the study! Bring it up to me! Ah. Ugh. No, thank you. No, thank you. What about the big rolling troll guy with a face for a stomach? Oh, the godskin boy. Nah, fat that guy. Fat that guy. Bad mm. hugger. Who you picking, Mikey? Uh, Elden Ring housemates. Could I pick? I'm going through them in my head. Could I pick the crystal twins that pirouette and throw blade discs? Interesting. Why? I am curious about what their junk is like. Mm. But I feel like they would be the perfect antidote to just have on my property to fuck up my neighbours. Oh, wow. <laughs> you really don't like your neighbours. <laughs> my neighbours are lovely. I just don't like being near them. That, that's not a reflection of them as people. Oh, no, fuck them. They've got boundary issues. Fuck them. They kept putting their bin outside my drive. Hey, the bin, right? yeah, the yeah, bin. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, rem I've remembered. I've remembered. I've remembered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. Do you know what? I think I'm really forgetful as like a self-defense mechanism for my psyche. You don't hurt yourself. Just forget. <laughs> and then the mods are here like, <laughs> When you guys remind me about the stuff I don't like, I get so fucking angry. I, I consider myself a relatively chill person. Not perfectly, but like on average at the chill end of the spectrum. And then you guys fucking remind me about all that fucking shit and I could kill someone. <laughs> Hey, Grasswalker, thank you very much for the resub. Lovely to see you. Grasswalker, how's your day, you delicious little crumpet? I think Michael may have nailed the answer. He said the mimic to you. Just oh my god, Michael. Yeah, mimic to you, Mike. That's the dream. That's been the dream for a million years since man first looked in a reflective puddle. The dream has always been can I fuck myself? Mimic tear. With a hot little white gooey center. Your neighbors have a forest of a Metazoic era between you and them. Uh, no, I, I, I stripped it all back last year. Um, the grass is still overgrown, but I cut down all the actual wild trees and all that shit. My front garden is just full of piled branches and logs and shit. So this spring, uh, I'll just take up all the grass and do the last of the trimming at the bottom, uh, and then s just clear out the floor, and I'll actually just have the ability to plant actual grass again. It'll be amazing. Yeah, I broke the back of it last year. Thank God. Ancestor spirit to go to the shops with. Is that the giant deer? Yeah. When are you going to draw some Street Fighter ladies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get on it. I need to... So I, I just... Other than talking about it with you guys, I haven't actually seen or inge ingested much media uh, around all the stuff that's coming up. So I haven't like had it on my mind very much, just stuff to draw. But I'm very pro doing it. Okay, let me pay attention. I've, I have entered a phase where I've stopped looking. So let's see what we can do.
<laughs> hmm. It's wonderful and beautiful and strange and magical. You should watch Entertainment District of Demon Slayer. I feel like Daki should be on your art list. Miss KTB, are you talking about season three? Agreed. The one after uh, season two after. Wait, what did you just say? Season two after Mugen. Mugen train. B. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh brilliant. Wait, I have two seasons to look forward to, not one. But you've watched season one, right? One then the movie. Yeah. Then season two. No, I've not done season two. Right, so you got season two. That's the right district. Okay, but there's no season three. No. Okay, no. Oh, okay sorry. Season I, I... three's out in like a few weeks, actually. Yeah, I'll get back on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll get back on that. Big booby demon sounds terrible. Keep talking. Oh shit! Did you see that? Their head turned to face my companion, so I instantly pressed for magic for the long spell, and their head just turned straight back to me and attacked me once I was caught in it. Yeah, uh, it's all the soft harp. It's, it's incredible, this game. Season 2 opening's really good, didn't skip it once. Really? Do you want to know an opening that I always loved? Uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Golden Wind. When, uh, is it Yoshikage Kira gets the time ability and he affects the intro to the anime with it? I like that. That was a lovely meta. Love a bit of meta. I'm a sucker for that shit. the wrong thing. I might, might get rid of that lance. I don't think anyone's using it. So have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much for hanging out on this Friday night. Hope you have an excellent sleep. Um, we've got a bit more to go in this episode. Oh no, we've got ages. We've got well in over an hour. Um, but I'm going to go for a really quick wee now. And I am actually going to pop the kettle on. So we're going to take a two minute break. Chill out for the next uh, hour of this. And I'm going to go uh, do some more editing. I want to get John Wick out tomorrow evening. Uh, but I need to do more on it tonight in order to hit that deadline. So let's go have some tea and a stretch. Hi, Toller. I know it's your bedtime soon, so thank you very much for vibing and hanging out. Um, yeah, that's good. I'll stay see you for a Nice one. I'll, stay for... I'll see you in a short second in that case. All right, guys. Exclamation mark quote or exclamation mark quote one. Come and get to know me and we can all hang out together. I need to change the colours on my stream deck. I'm getting really confused these days. I'm not really paying attention to anything now. It's because I need a wee. Yo, are you all following me on both my Twitter accounts because I tweet an hour before I'm live? What? Hello everyone. It's your boy.
this guy's got the right idea. Hello, read us a story. You sound tired. Yeah, it's one o'clock in the morning for me. <laughs> that good. Oh yeah, you're in You guys want a five minute bed Quite late now. I don't say in it. <laughs> Do you put that because I'm Bridget? I think your mic is oh it, it's because i'm talking quietly and i had upped the sensitivity because of my breathing so it should be better now I actually speak properly <clears throat> must be a fremen oh I man i always get the raids he's hello m croft it's not mikey it's his mod atola he's just gone to get uh, T and a wee. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Hello, hello. Mikey Imposter. Uh, imposter Improvement? Upgrade? Cruzix? Excuse me? Hello everyone. Mikey won't be long. He's yeah, he's he's gone quick. I hope your stream was good, Hemcroft. I was gonna read uh, a short story. Time to do your Mikey impression. Oh man. I don't know. <laughs> Usually I would. I'm really tired. You can tell because my voice gets deeper and it gets really croaky. Sounds like where huh. Master Bruce. I think Mcroft had to raid and run because Mega laid there, but we had a fun stream. Oh yeah, no worries. Yeah, I totally understand. You raid because it's your end of your stream. You either need to crash or eat. I totally get that. But uh, yeah, I'll say thank you nonetheless. Mikey will as well, but appreciate it. Beautiful and raspy. Hmm. I'm trying to think what sounds like this so I can read something. <laughs> Do you want a horror short story? Uh, Mikey will probably come back in time. It's called... This New Old House. <coughs> right. So, this new old house. We bought an old house, my boyfriend and I. He's in charge of the new construction, converting the kitchen into a master bedroom, for instance while I'm on wallpaper removal duty. The previous owner papered every wall and ceiling. Removing it is brutal, but oddly satisfying. The best feeling is getting a long peel similar to your skin when you're peeling from a sunburn. I don't know about you, but I kind of make a game of peeling. On the hunt for the longest piece before it rips. Under a corner section of paper in every room, is a person's name and a date. Curiosity got the best of me one night, and when I googled one of the names and discovered the person was actually a missing person, the missing date matching the date under the wallpaper. Sorry, sorry, what the fuck are you subjecting our raiders to? What, what, what is this? They, they asked me to read a short story, so I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a toilet treat. This came from the kitchen. I'm not having that again. That was once. Uh, welcome in raiders. I'm so sorry I was away. Lovely yes, to see you wonderful people. Uh, Mel, how was your clicker face? Oh, oh my god, wait, wait, wait. I'm... 
Uh, let me go into Mcroft's stream immediately because I am aware that she was making a uh, clicker mushroom and I must absolutely see where she's gotten to so far or if she did it. So welcome on in Raiders. I appreciate it's a wonderful Friday evening where you're all living your lives. Uh, but um, if I haven't talked to you guys in Mel's before, my name is Mikey. I'm an illustrator from England. We are chilling and vibing at the moment, playing some Elden Ring. I do spicy anime fan arts and free drawing tutorials. And I think I still have a slideshow somewhere. This guy's got the right idea. Yo, must you got to sell? Uh, here we go. Here's an example of some stuff. I'm actually safe for work. I just like to keep it very risky. Uh, bear with, because I, I actually must go check out Mel's stream really quickly. I just want to see if I can see how her uh, body paint went. Assuming that's what she was up to. Uh, uh, videos? Just clicking some buttons. Fast broadcasts? Oh, yo! So she wasn't uh, she wasn't putting on yet, but she's working on the actual prosthetic pieces and the painting. Oh my god, it's like a... What are those corn sweets you get at Halloween? Those little bits of corn that are triangles. It looks like a whole load of them blooming out. This is fucking incredible. Guys at my end, come on. You all know that I'm a big fan of Mills. I'll talk about her all the time. This is so fucking good. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Hey, Star Wars lady. She's run away to sleep. Oh, yeah. I don't blame her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Star Wars lady. It's always nice to see you. Um, We, we all know the score of streaming, man. Live your life. Uh, look, I'm so sorry. Do you want to continue the rest of that story? I do apologize. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't like having a breakdown. That's all. <laughs> that's your stream, mate. I was just like, um, filling the empty space. Mm, talking about all that skin. Mm. Mm. I've got a little uh, Rice Krispie square here. Oh, mate, they're so underrated. Banger snack. This might sound weird, but they make my tummy a little bit jippy sometimes. I can't eat two of them back to back. Otherwise, I don't feel very well. But they're mm. fucking delicious. I like marshmallow flavour, but I hate marshmallows because I hate the texture. So squares are perfect for me. I like crispy, crunchy, not soft goop. Mm. Very... Mm. I did. No, that's not my school. That's today? not a toiletry. Why are you going... Sorry, I've just seen chat. They're, they're bringing up the past again. <laughs> How dare they? I've got a tea bag in here. It's not quite brewed enough, so I'm going to put that down. Uh, guys, you want to see what a winner looks like? Well, go check the mirror because it's lovely having you excellent people here. Me in the meantime. Oh, I never paused the recording, but I don't think I care. We are going to check out this boss. I'll show you how cool it is. I'll show you the intro cutscene. And then I'll die real quick. Let's have some tea. You like big, soft things. Oh, did you ever get your balls checked out of the doctor about that? Marshmallows suck. Oh, I've still got this slideshow up. Let's get rid of that, shall we? Watching the little nightmares play through. Because I can, and I want to. The double toilets. <laughs> ass to ass. <laughs> Obviously, I know that's from a film, but I always think of Michael Denicola. When I hear that quote, ass to ass. Yeah, candy corn. Yeah, candy corn. It's like a load of candy corn if you uh, arranged it in a ring in concentric circles. I'm looking forward to seeing Mel actually do that body paint. I'm sure she'll do it soon. But I'm still emotionally not in a very good place ever since I saw her really realistic goose. I never got past that goose. Like that, like scarred in me a bit. Her human eyed goose prosthetic. Hmm. <laughs> I hit my guy. Room. Ah. 
Doubly rude. I shouldn't have rolled, I should have stepped. Run forward, then flash step. The goose is great. The goose is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Do you know how much money I spend having to talk to people in therapy sessions about the goose? That cost me, that hit my wallet and my heart and my mental health. I think Mel is fantastic. I think she's a very bold, very capable, very creative human being who's following their passion. I also like that she's quite no-nonsense and doesn't really tolerate much shit. Compared to me, I do quite tolerate. But there'll always be a distance between us because of that goose. I don't need that in my life. I've got enough friends. This is why I don't answer her DMs on Instagram. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, let's skip through. Really soaking up today. Look at me. Unfortunately, I don't know if she's aiming at me or her. But we're both lined up, so it didn't work out very well. Ah, I just ran out of stamina for that last chop. That would have done it. Oh, he's alive! Look at that! Look at that health! I assumed that was going to do it, so I, inst I stopped even looking. Ah... What are you going to do about it? What goof? Go follow Mel, Aliator. Go, um... Maybe check out her Instagram. We'll probably have it. It'll probably be the easiest way to find it. Hey, Nopa RT. Hey, yeah. I'm going to shoot, mate. Dude, have yourself a wonderful evening. Thank you very much for your company again. I appreciate that, man. Nah, any time, mate. Any time. When are you next streaming? Oh, God. I don't know. Can we get a shout-out, please, for Ayatollah? What, when are you next not? Uh... Mm, Monday. Monday. I'm live every Should day except for Monday. I'll go Monday, then. Yo, let's fucking go. Are you going to be um, drawing more assets for your video game? Uh, yeah, maybe. I've got a lot of games to finish as well. Understandable. Yo, yeah, thank you very much again. Everyone say goodnight to Ayatollah. Bye, guys. Aliator, I mean, I'm glad you... I'm glad you want to share. Some things you can just... You can tell yourself about them instead of typing them. But, you know, I'm not here to judge. I'd never put a man down. in that follow-up. Next time I need to shadow step faster.
Ah, one more shadow would have done it. I really do like uh, going a bit toe to toe with him and actually just getting choppy with my sword. Whoa, your voices were so similar. I thought you were talking to yourself again. What is this again business going on about? You've got a you've got a little, you've got a sharp kind of energy to you sometimes, Mel. You got a little bit of a sting. You sure you're not a Scorpio? Fit right in. Dude, thank you very much for that raid. Sorry I wasn't here, bro. Uh hope you've been having a wonderful productive day. I actually I uh, actually had a sneak at your stream because I was aware um that you were working on a prosthetic. Um, so I was just like, ooh, have I missed the body paint? Uh, I can see you painted it. It looks fucking dope so far. Um, when are we going to see you uh, um, body paint that? I don't know if you actually tell people what your thing is, so don't worry. We'll see it when we see it. But um, I will actually do my best to keep an eye out for that because it's fucking dope. Love to see what you come up with. When it comes up for PC. Yo, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Not too long. We are flossing and bossing. in a bad mood. Mostly flossing. How are things in the Gentleman's Club? How are things in the Gentleman's Club? Are you are you asking about my junk? Have I made complaints? A rash is gone. Is that what we're talking about? The Gentleman's Club, is it? What, what's the gent what's that? It feels like code. This is a guy you really have to learn to dodge. Yeah, yeah. Radagon deflects spells. He hasn't been deflecting any of my spells, is he? I thought that was your club, not your junk. Megaverse, mate. Any club you need. Everyone come join for Megaverse. For unity. For Mikey. For religious freedom. Discover yourself by putting me inside you. Hashtag not a cult. Ah, I needed to roll forward. I remember saying that last time. Oh, you're the worst person in the world. Definitely not a sex cult. I'll discover the real you from the uh, inside out. Hashtag wash your gloves. He backhands the spells. Most of them are do most of them are sinking in damage. Oh, I forgot to put on my thing. I'm so glad I have to go through the world's brightest screen every single time. It's like loading up Genshin. Where's my other Progon? You see it? Yeah, huh. No, 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 no. Mm. 
I thought I was delaying it correctly. <coughs> I was not. The next cult of the lamb, you're goddamn right. Oh. You might be able to use some healing spells to keep your mimic in longer. Wait, can I cast heal on my mimic? Gabby, can I cast heal on my mimic? Can I lock onto my mimic and cast heal? Oh, give it heal, give it heal, give it heal. Yeah, yeah, why not? Let's have a go. Yeah. I don't know. Not using this one anyway. I'm going to Oh, urgent. I got that healing feeling. You know what I'm saying? What are my other spells again? Blade beam. Blade beam might be nice. Uh, I, just, I just don't really do these other ones. A founding rain of stars. Which one's more powerful? Founding rain of stars. Costs 41 FP. Or magic downpour. Oh, 27. What's this one? Shattering crystal. Uh, I don't know what any of these mean. Ah, <gasps> oh, I remember my flaming bow. Hey, okay, 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 okay. I'm just going to try this. Just for once. But we'll get rid of it. It also works if it stands right next to you and you use it. Oh, Tater! It's got a tiny AoE. Mm. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, I don't like standing next to my Mimic because I like to keep my enemies back to me. I like to treat it like a lover. You know, face down in a corner of a bed, go at them like the clappers. But this might work. I'm open-minded. It bright, mate. It bright. It's a bit, bit of a random William, isn't it? I don't know if I like that. Oosh. That's very, that's, that's very rude where I come from. That's too much. So you can dodge him at range, but if you're caught close up in that, you are just pinned down by it. Mmm. Do you know the actor Lance Reddick? Yes, I do. He died today. He did. F's in chat for Lance Reddick. Um, I was literally editing footage of him when he agrees to take care of John Wick's dog this morning. And then I just opened Twitter and it was like the first thing I saw is that he's passed away. It's like, fuck, man. He was great. I loved him in The Wire all the way through. I think you need to redo your build. Miss KTB, this is what you're like in relationships. You're so easy to throw a good thing away. Everything's temporary for you, isn't it? I believe in committing. I say find what you like and give it a real chance. And then bitch about it for the next six hours live on stream. So let's just drop that. Not going to use it. Anything in its place? No. 60! <laughs> yeah. Having armor that protects against holy damage would be gay. Uh... Okay. I'm just wearing this because it matches my kind of overall aesthetic. Anything that's good against holy. So damage negation versus holy. So this one's 13. 12, 13, 7... 13.8. Uh, blue festive garb, but it lowers all my business. Is a point eight really worth it for losing all that armor? 13.3. I don't know if these stats are supposed to be really big stats or really small. Like, is a 
incremental di uh, difference in this actually effective? But then my physical gets whacked. Is a is a point eight in armor against uh, something worth it? Probably not. John Wicks, where you seen him? Loved him in her. Yeah, of course. God, I forgot. Um. Uh. Yeah. Click that film cram link. The very opening video on my YouTube channel, Film Cram, is the John Wick one recap that I made the other day. It's an amazingly good recap. It's got a bit of lance in there for a split second. Talk about remastering. Forget Dead Space. I remastered John Wick. I believe in a thing called love. How much longer? Not too long, not too long. Bloody hell, the loading screens in this game is like hanging out in a jungle with a gorilla. Just don't look at it and you'll be alright. God damn it, car. What is that about? Hope for the best, pray for the worst. Mamma mia! I'm gonna watch this again, it's so magical. A little bit of magic before bed. White Void, I was thinking earlier, it's like, do you know how like an axolotl is kind of not quite formed? It's still full of like special baby cells. This feels like a magical, unformed axolotl version of a dragon. It's wonderful. I've never seen that before in my life. Yo, Snoozny, thank you very much for the resub. 29 months. 29, Snoozny. Wow, thank you, thank you. Happy weekend, guys.
Uh, let's give this one or two more goes. Uh, and then I'm going to go and uh, Just tea. make a little snack, make myself decaf tea. Watch the uh, current episode of Star Trek Picard Season 3. Available on Amazon Prime. Get all comfy. First time you were two hits away. Dude, beefy! I had that with the first stage of this person. I was like two hits away from finishing them on my second go, only because I didn't worry about it. And then after that, I started worrying about it and I couldn't even, I've, I've forgotten to even summon because now I'm worried. We'll get there. I'm just using this as an opportunity to uh, learn the moves now. Rather go and get you. I wonder if I can get my summon in phase two instead. Can I do Raddy by literally just staying right on top of him and doing a lot of? Can I just circle the? Can I circle the absolute juice out of Raddy the ring? Old Raddy ring a lot. Ding ding. Who's at the door? Raddy. Old Raddy ringer. It's him again. Sorry, I, I, I think I need to. Go, I think I need to go to bed. Mate, ring around the roses. Let's go. Stay tight, only chop. I don't even have a, a physical stat build. Chop only. I believe in a thing called chop. We'll tank it. In my magic build. That might not have been a very good idea. Maybe using a playstyle that's the utter opposite to a long range magic build isn't going to be the way you play the game. Yeah, that guy getting it. That emote's great. Radagon of the Golden Girls. Hmm. Both man and woman. The dream. Radagon is a girl when she hangs when she crucifies herself. And a guy when he comes back up for me to kill him. I will get my mimic back out, by the way. to get the thing in. Oh, wait. Wow. Why am I involved? That should be his problem, not mine. Okay, one or two more goes. I'm still enjoying this. It's <laughs> convenient, isn't it? Kid Loons, I think you need to go to bed, mate. It's past your bedtime. You're getting a bit loopy. Oh, uh, because the bell's when you hit. <laughs> That's terrible. That one's terrible. I hate you. I hate you. I hate that. No, no, no. I just hate you. I don't even like it. I just, I think you're a bad person. Let's go. <laughs> old, old, no more than two school children at a time, Radigan. Yeah, 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 I know.
I was caught in that animation. I knew I need. I knew it was coming for me. One tap too many. Is it all just timing based? Yeah, I'm not really a timing guy. Yeah. Someone's trying to buy the Daily Star from a uh, two at a time ready. But they've wrapped it up in another newspaper so nobody can see. Oh my god, bring me back. Touch too early, I think. Must have been. Oh, rude. Okay, one more go. One more go and we're all gonna roll. Oh, wow, my tea, tea's starting to actually taste like tea now. I'm reaching the tea bags. Probably enough brewing. I wonder where all my tea bags go. I wonder like, if I stood next to all the tea bags I've used in my life, I wonder how big the pile would be. There's easily enough tea bags to make one of me, but is there enough to make five? If I can big. Can I okay, real question, real talk. Can I tear up my tea bags and put them in my pot plant soil? Is that like a positive thing to do? Cause I'm supposed to put if I eat if I eat raw fish, I'm supposed to put the fish in the soil, aren't I, or something? No, is it not a good idea? You could, but why? Because because I've managed to kill one of my snake plants. They would eat my snake plants were the only ones that made it from the first batch of plants. And now I've only got one pot of snake plants left. I'm pretty sure I know what killed that one. I was trying to get rid of some things in the soil. So I made some homemade weed killer out of uh, dish soap and cooking oil. And I think I put too much in. Think the blob at the end of a movie, but made out of T <laughs> It's coming for people. The military sent it. Let's go before bed then. Dish soap and cooking oil. That's probably not good for plants. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You can make your own. You can with a little. I bet you don't use much. Like it's mostly water, right? You, it's mostly water. But you uh, you put in cooking oil or well, olive oil. I had, and a couple squirts of dish soap. And you can pour it over the surface, and it will get kill off like a, a little. Uh, there's little larvae from tiny houseflies. But the problem is, is like, I gave it like a second dose a little bit later. And uh, after that, everything started dying from the roots upwards. 
Need to mix it in like a fertilizer. Like scattering on top doesn't help. What for tea bags? I, I, I won't bother. I'll just stick them in a bin. It was just a fort. So anyway, I need to buy another snake plant. I've already got the pot. My other one, my other one thrived like hell. It's my other one has extra. It's so leafy. Snake plant heaven. Stepmother's tongue, whatever you want to call it. But got to go back to that website. I don't even think I can use my healing magic because I don't have a talisman equipped. Oh yeah! I just saw! Locked indeed. Oh, mate, come on. You can't live like that. You only die if you forget to pretend to water. <laughs> yeah, snake plot. Oh, that's a good point. But uh, the one that's thriving probably needs some attention. Jennies are dying as well. Coffee grounds can work for pests. Hasn't worked on me, Gem. I'm still here. Maybe I can save it. <laughs> Jenna, it's not a boyfriend. You can't change her. The plant's gone, man. You can jump the attack, except for the last hit. Oh, I can't jump the last one. I wondered why I was struggling. was named at me and I quick stepped towards it. Okay, last one. And then we'll wrap up. Got just enough time for one more. Good night, Elemental. Look after yourself. Thank you very much for vibing and hanging out. It's been a pleasure. Happy weekend, everybody. Happy weekend. Make sure you're following me on both Twitter accounts. I'll tweet an hour before I go live, if I go live tomorrow. Depending on what time I finish that John Wick recap, I might end up doing it all night. But we'll see. We'll see. Always a pleasure having you wonderful people duck your heads in or drop me a lurk. Hop in, say hello, have the rest of your weekend, catch me at the end, catch me outside. I'm so glad this bright screen isn't getting old or anything. Imagine getting sick and tired of it. Wouldn't know what that feels like. What do I do with this one? Oh, I just roll backwards. Oh wait, was that it the whole time? Oh, oh maybe not. Hey, Traveller. 
No, no, not tonight. Not tonight we don't. But one night, one day, we will. This is my very last go and then we're off to bed. How bad, Dad? Never loses his impact. Never does. Never does. Imagine if this game was only half as long. This guy's got the right idea. We'd have flying cars by now. Begenkai, how you doing? Good evening. Happy Friday. Imagine if all this was just DLC like God intended. Okay, we're just going to run towards the dragon, and I'm just going to chop it with the sword, because the dragon's really strong against magic. Wow. What's going on? Oh, that's going on. That was very <laughs> that was very pretty. Okay, well, it's the first time I've seen that technique. Okay, well, what a wonderful time. If you're not using magic, why not switch to two-handed? Something to enjoy in the next episode. If you're watching on YouTube, click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Peace and love.